I saw just its tail and I thought it was a snake. It's a newt. That's oh, kind of what it. Tail. That's what it looks like to me. He liked underneath my green beans. It was nice and moist oh, and wet. I'm slow. I'm not sure what kind of. I'm not sure either. Animal that is. He's really neat. Well, we brought him inside and we looked it up, and he is a tiger salamander. Never thought I'd find one of those. That was really neat to find this cute little guy um, while I was picking green beans. <laughs> um, on the plus side, we got tons of green beans for dinner tomorrow or for lunch tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. We're out in the garden. Um, it's been a very cold last few days. And um, so we've had all of our plants covered. I say all of them, most of them covered. Um, but honestly, it's been so cold that um, uh, most of my plants are damaged and probably are just done for the season because of the damage. So, I'm gonna show you guys um, what's going on and then we're gonna plant some garlic. Here's our sunflower. I was hoping that I could save this um, so we could harvest these seeds, but I don't think that they're going to be ready um, in time for before the weather gets too bad. Um, it did pretty good. Um, the head took on damage, but overall it did pretty well and it does have some some smaller blooms like through there if you guys can see mostly these tomato plants that really suffered so I'll just give you guys a peek underneath you see how sad they look you guys <laughs> they look really sad there's even some little tomatoes still in there um, I did harvest um, some tomatoes off of these plants after this damage has been done um, there's also a big green tomato through there you see it but we are just pretty much done for the season I'm thinking um, so this is kind of sad to me I always hate putting the garden to bed for winter here's my green beans they are um, they do they did a little bit better than some of the other things like the tomatoes but um, they did they did take on damage um, as you can see I just have such a small growing window um, and I, I hate it. I hate that I have such a small growing window here in 5B. My growing season is only about 106 days. Um, and so it's really hard to get um, a really good harvest. Um, I'm just going to try growing earlier next year, um, planting earlier next year. And I hope that will make um, a big difference. We'll just have to see. The last few years have really just been experimental for me, me learning a lot. Um, what works here um, is obviously very different than what I was used to growing in before. Uh, I used to get way better harvests than what I've been getting and I think it's just me having to really learn um, the cold here. <sighs> It's just much colder where I am now. So we're about to get ready to plant this garlic. I couldn't find my shovel. I have no clue where my hand spade went. So we're using whatever tools we have and I hope that they're going to be adequate enough. We're just gonna straighten this. It's not perfect, but that'll work. But we're gonna go ahead and just dig. Oh, well, you guys, I don't have the right tools for this. Where is my hand spade? It's really frustrating. I can't, I have no clue where my hand spade is. I'm gonna have to find something better. 
All right, this is overkill. I need a hand spade. Back from Tractor Supply because Walmart doesn't carry hand spades um, or like a trowel or anything um, this time of year because the garden season is pretty much over and <laughs> So they didn't have any hand spades. They had big giant shovels, which I have, um, but I needed a hand spade. And they didn't have one. Tractor Supply had it. I did pay a prettier penny than I would like to, but it is what it is. All right, you guys, so this is attempt number like four or three or whatever, I don't even know, <laughs> of trying to get out here to plant this garlic. Um, yeah, so I'm not exactly sure if I'm even going to be able to do it again. We're gonna try again. Just a few times is because I've had my baby not want to let me um, do this so I haven't been able to get it done I literally started trenching um, before I think that's probably like the last thing that you guys saw um, I was trenching and I have a baby monitor and I could hear her crying over the baby monitor so I had to go in All right, so I just finished digging these trenches. Um, they are four to six inches deep. Um, they're not perfect, but they will do. Um, I'm gonna have to go in right now. My baby's crying again. Um, but I'll be back out here either today or in the next day or two to plant this garlic. Because I have the trenches dug, I just need to put the garlic in and I'll show you guys how to do that. Here's my garlic that I have. Um, I grew this last year. So that's where I got this. You can also purchase this online. You're gonna separate your cloves into individual pieces. Plant these about four to six inches apart. So that's probably good, just like that. It doesn't have to be exact, it doesn't have to be perfect, uh, but you want them to be about four to six inches apart and four to six inches deep. Then we're just gonna cover these with soil and w water them. And honestly, that's all there really is to it. Thank you, son. Those ones are too close together, bud. So we have like had to put them this far. This one over. Oh. Oh, I can do it. Time. Pull these off. Oh. That's how it's doing. Yeah, that's how you do it. Move this one right over here. Scoot it over. Yep, just right there. Good job. A little further apart, like right here. Good. Good job. Next. 